back to my channel and another video in my How I Teach series I've been doing all week long here on my channel. So definitely check out those videos that have already gone up. And then make sure you're subscribed and you have that bell clicked so you'll be notified when tomorrow's video goes up and any video that I put up every single week. I do upload every week. I talk about homeschooling and mom life and cleaning and organizing and Disney is a really big focus on my channel. So make sure if you like videos like that, that you subscribe and become part of my YouTube channel family. So that being said, today I am going to be talking about how I teach science and homeschool. This is for elementary. I do have a ninth grader who is finishing up her freshman year and we are doing something different for her for science, which I'm not gonna be talking about today. For elementary, it's a lot more fun because we get to do a lot more hands-on things. I get to be a lot more involved and I get to pick and choose a lot more of what we use for elementary science. My youngest daughter is finishing up her third grade year and what I'm gonna show you today is um, a mixture of things that we've already been doing and then things we're gonna continue doing going on into fourth grade. So, if you don't know already what we have chosen for her science curriculum, we are using, and we have been using for the last few months, uh, Bob Jones Science 4, even though she is in third grade, I chose Science 4 for her. This is her textbook. She's got a workbook. We also have the teacher's manual and a test and answer key. I chose the Bob Jones Science curriculum because it is very engaging. I love the colors. I went back and forth on a couple different um, curriculum companies, but I decided on, on Bob Jones and so far it's been a great choice. We have been using Bob Jones for English and we love it. We're going to be doing Bob Jones for history and English next year. And so I just figured science would be a good fit for us as well. And it really is. I like how the Bob Jones science curriculum really hits the high points and doesn't overwhelm you with too much information, especially in these younger ages when you're really just trying to introduce concepts. I love how Bob Jones kind of hits those high points. Um, <clears throat> so the reading is fairly short. Uh, it's definitely something that my daughter can do independently. The vocabulary words are in bold. There's little uh, facts and information and lots of really pretty color pictures. So she has really been loving science, lots of bright colors. And then she's got her workbook. So I chose to get our Bob Jones science curriculum from Home Science Tools. I talked about this a month or so ago because I really like getting science curriculum and uh, hands-on activities and research and lab materials from home science tools because they do have such a wide variety of science things. It's a science website so they have tons of things that are engaging and hands-on. They have tons of different types of curriculum and I think the benefit of shopping with them for science curriculum like Bob Jones is you can get rewards based on what you purchase. You can use coupon codes, whereas it's sometimes hard to find coupon codes, especially on you know more pricey uh, curriculum like Bob Jones. There are coupon codes all the time, so make sure you sign up for the Home Science Tools uh, free uh, newsletter so you'll be notified when there's coupons and things like that. But it's just, a, it's just been a really great resource for science for us. Another reason why I like getting our science curriculum from there is because you can get these lab kits that go along with whichever curriculum that you purchase. So this is the one for the Bob Jones grade four. And in this box comes everything you need to do the science projects that are in the textbook. So even batteries are in there. I've got these really sturdy cardboard tubes, latex gloves, little light bulbs and a balloon and circuits and all different types of things you're gonna need, even down to a bag of sand. Now, if you had a project that called for a bag of sand, are you gonna go out and buy like a giant bag of play sand? What are you gonna to do to get your sand? So they even included sand. There's a bag of dirt in this box, like everything you can think of that you would need. There's string and lima bean seeds. It's all packaged together for me. I don't have to go out and get a bunch of stuff at once. I don't have to like go to all these different stores and try to find all of this stuff. It all comes in the lab kit that you can purchase separately from Home Science Tools to coordinate with your science curriculum. So I think it's a great time saver for me as a busy mom. I don't wanna have to go out and look for all that stuff. So that's another benefit of shopping with Home Science Tools. So that's the basis of our homeschool science curriculum. You know, obviously the Bob Jones textbook, we do the workbook, but for me, and especially for a younger child, well, older kids too, but I think especially when they're young, they really still want to play and figure things out by doing and using. And that's why experiments are so fun. And I really love hands-on activities that are fun and engaging, but they're also educational. You guys know this. If you see my gift guide videos and what I get my girls for Christmas gifts and birthday gifts, 
You know that I'm all about giving them things that foster creativity and imaginative play, role play, and that does not involve batteries, screens, anything like that. I am all about that. I love finding things for the girls to do that fit that criteria. They're fun, they're engaging, they're hands-on, and they're learning at the same time. So I picked up a few things from Home Science Tools. They have tons of science-based lessons, projects, kits, gifts, all different types of things. I talked about this before. I love doing these bug kits. We've done the butterfly one so many times, and we did do the ladybug one years and years ago with my oldest, and so I wanted to do it again with my youngest. So basically what you do is you get this little ladybug habitat, and there's a certificate in the box that you send off, and they will mail you ladybugs in the mail. You can actually get ladybugs in the mail in this little tube. Hopefully this turns out better than our ant farm. <laughs> we had a little ant farm disaster, but we've done this before with butterflies and never had any issues. So anyway, your ladybugs come in the tube in the mail and you put them in your habitat and then they actually will you know, go through the whole process, the life cycle of a ladybug. And then of course you release them once they are full, full grown. Um, so it says 10 to 13 ladybug larvae will arrive at your door. Transfer your soon to be ladybugs into your habitat. Using the dropper, place two to three drops of water into the sponge in the volcano. So like up here, there's a little sponge and then see your ladybug larvae grow and change into beautiful adult ladybugs. Feed them and enjoy them for a few days and then let them go. So this is exactly like right up my daughter's alley and it's right up my alley too because they're learning, she's learning the life cycle of a ladybug, but it's really, really fun. And this would make a great gift for Easter as well, which Easter may be over by the time this video goes up, but it'll make a great gift nonetheless. Um, so I picked that up for her. That's definitely something we plan to do when we get back from vacation because I don't want ladybugs to come while we're gone. But after we get back from vacation, we're going to order our ladybugs. And even though our school year will be officially over, you, you know, you can do stuff like this over the summer. You can do it during the school year. It's going to be fun. Maybe if I pair it with a ladybug unit lesson plan. Um, so that is one thing I picked up from Home Science Tools. Another thing I picked up that's going to be a definite hit over the summer is this sun print paper. This is the neatest stuff ever. It makes photographic type prints using sun and water. So basically you pick an item, it can be anything, a leaf, a flower, they've got a key right here. Um, and then you lay it on this paper, you put the paper out in the sun until it turns white, which is about one to five minutes. And then you put your paper in water and you let it and you let it dry and you're, you end up with this negative looking picture. We've done this before with my oldest daughter, again, we're kind of cycling back through things that I do with my oldest that I'm doing now with my youngest. So this is super cool and it's a great thing to do in the summer. So definitely think about picking some of this up to do with your kids over the summer when they're bored and they want to play something you don't want to have them do and you don't want them on the screen. Definitely pick up some of the sun print paper from Home Science Tools. It is really, really neat how it works. Another thing that I picked up that we're going to be using a lot this spring and summer is this flower press kit from Home Science Tools. It comes with everything you need to press flowers. You have this wooden press with all this cardboard on the inside. You open the straps, you put your flowers inside, you reclose it together, and the pressure will put it, put, will press the flowers flat. And then you've got all these neat pages that you can use to put your flowers in once they're pressed. You've got some paper, if you can put them on those. And one thing I really liked about it too is it came with this wildflowers book. So if we're out on a nature walk or we're at the park and we see a flower and we don't know what it is, you can look it up in this book and find out what type of flower it is. So I think that is super neat. I'm really excited for this. I know she's going to love it. She's totally into flowers, even weeds. She loves getting like the little weeds out of the backyard and collecting them all. Um, she calls them pretty weeds. So that is something I think she's going to love. And it really, again, makes a great gift to give a child. So definitely great for the school year, but definitely something you can do in the spring and summer when they're not doing school, just as a fun outdoor activity and or art project. So combined with the Bob Jones curriculum we've been doing over the school year, and then some of these things we're gonna be doing over the spring and summer, and that may also carry into our school year next year. That is the basis of our science curriculum for elementary. We also have a devotional that is science-based, which is amazing to me because science is one of those subjects, if you're a Christian, that you might struggle to find a curriculum that goes along with your beliefs. Um, and this is indescribable 100 devotions about God and science. So even though it is a Bible devotional, it is all science based. So you've got different science topics and then how it relates to God. We've already been reading this. She like took off with it as soon as it came in the mail. So I have a hard time keeping this in the homeschool room, but 
it is definitely good for Bible and it's definitely good to use with part of your science curriculum as well. So that is pretty much everything we're doing for science. This has worked out the best so far for us, having a spine curriculum of Bob Jones and then combining it with science activities and hands-on activities that I get from home science tools or things that we already have around the house or just going outside and observing nature. I am all about mixing a book curriculum with hands-on activities and play through learning. Another thing that's great about home science tools is they do have tons of lesson plans and project suggestions, even science fair project suggestions on their website. It's a great resource not just to purchase things but also to get ideas for lessons, activities, and projects that are all science related. So definitely check out the Home Science Tools website. I know you guys will love it. Sign up for their free email. That way you'll be notified whenever they have sales, which they have quite often. So it's a really great way to get curriculum that you may have been eyeing but didn't have a coupon, a coupon code for. That way you'll be able to get a coupon code, get your curriculum, and then tons of other fun science-based activities and projects on their website. Also make sure that you're part of their rewards program because every purchase you make, you do earn rewards that you can actually turn around and use for future purchases. So it's just a great resource. I had just learned about it last year and I was like, how have I not heard about them before? Because I feel like as a homeschooler, I see and hear a lot about different websites and curriculum and companies and things like that. I had never heard of home science tools before. So if you're like me and you don't know anything about them, definitely play around on their website. Make sure you sign up for their emails and um, let me know if you have any questions and what you're using for science. If you homeschool, I'm curious to know what curriculum you're using for science. Do you do all hands-on like learning through play? Do you have a spine like a book curriculum like Bob Jones? what curriculum you do for science and what you're doing. Um, I'd be curious to know if you want to let me know in the comments. And I hope you guys liked today's video and you liked seeing what we're doing for science for elementary. This is going to carry through for fourth grade. Um, once we finish Bob Jones Science 4, I plan to move on to Science 5. We'll just see how it goes. But so far, we are loving it. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow's How I Teach video. I Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And check out my homeschooling playlist. All of my previous How I Teach videos and every other homeschooling video I've ever made is in that playlist. So lesson plans, organization, curriculum reviews, homeschool room tours, all of that stuff is in that playlist. So you want to check that out so you can see all the other homeschooling videos that I have made. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.